Hello everyone, this is Anne Tony. Good evening, or shall I say good morning or good afternoon to some of you who are in the other side of the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. For those who are new to my channel, this channel is all about Korean culture, Korean way of life, places to visit here in the countryside, and I am a married immigrant, so my channel is all about the way of life of married immigrants here in the countryside of Korea. I have friends in Australia, in Canada, in Hong Kong, in Japan. Uh, you know, YouTube has widened my horizon. And also uh, relatives in the United States who are planning to visit Korea. And they asked me, Oni, can you give us tips kung paano maging enjoyable and easy kung pupunta po kami ng Korea for a vacation? For those who are planning to visit Korea, uh, this video is right for you. I will be sharing some easy and enjoyable ang pagstay mo dito sa Korea. Another thing that I would like to suggest is when you arrive in Incheon Airport, uh, you will acquire this one, T-Money Card. So this T-Money Card is used as uh, for transportation. So when you ride in a buses, taxis, subways, and trains, and all that. Or when you uh, buy something in the, any convenience stores and entrance in any attraction areas, food and beverages and restaurants. So, ito pong ginagamit. So, paano po ito ma makuha? So, you can get this in Incheon Airport and then you buy this card and then lagyan po ninyo ng laman <laughs> para ito yung gagamitin ninyo pang kaska sa mga expenses po ninyo don't worry po wide ang kanyang affiliated companies so uh, hindi ka po paano pag hindi siya member ng ano uh, kahit saan po affiliated ng uh, T-Money card so it's easy to navigate um, another thing is, of course, when you're planning to go in a remote area, yung mga provinces na very remote, it could be na yung mga visa card na dala ninyo ay hindi nyo magamit. So, important din po na magdala din kayo ng konting cash. Pero pag within the big cities po kayo, uh, even if you don't have the cash, basta mayroon lang po kayong card na dala or T-Money card or any other card na mga prepaid check card na tinatawag ay okay na po kayo. Another thing is um, to have an easy navigation here in Korea, you must upload some map application para madali po sa inyo. So, some people uses the Google map and some people use the neighbor map. So, in my case, I because I am Korean, I, I uploaded neighbor maps. Why? Because I believe a neighbor is a Korean owned website. So, of course, it is more accurate. It is more accurate and isa sa mga um, advantages kung ang uh, neighbor map ang gagamitin mo is that it will give you an estimate of hours kung paa kung uh, kilan ka darating sa sa isang area sa isang area na pupuntahan sa destination mo ilang oras o ilang minutes ang uh, ma spend mo sa pag uh, trans pag move in that uh, certain area so nagugustuhan ko po yung neighbor map so of course uh, you can use whatever applications na comfortable po kayo you can uh, download uh, Google Map, it's up to you. But for me, I usually I really use neighbor maps for uh, accuracy. Sa akin lang po yun. So <laughs> another thing is, um, what about uh, speaking? Oh, paano na? Kung uh, not all Korean, lahat ba ng Korean ay marunong magsalita ng English? Of course, if you live in if you're planning to move around the big cities like Seoul, Busan, and other big cities in Korea, no problem po. 
the young especially the younger generations they can speak uh, English very well maintindihan ka po ng mga Koreans but if you go to the countryside say, there are certain people that cannot speak the English language maybe some of them can understand you but they cannot speak so kinakailangan din siguro if you want to visit Korea uh, to learn to learn simple greetings, simple questions na in Korean para naman pagdating mo dito kahit malang magagamit-gamit mo rin yon <laughs> at saka tataas ang kilay nila wow, bago uh, foreigner ito at ang galing niya mag-greet uh, or mag-ask ng simple questions pero ang suggestions ko po naman sa inyo ay mag-ano naman po kayo ng mga translate applications so you can da download uh, Google Translate or Naver which is Papago. So, ako po dalawa ang ginagamit ko. So, download nyo lang applications na yan at kung po makapunta po kayo sa mga area na hindi po makapagsalita uh, ng English, makarespond in English to you, just type and then uh, iparinig sa kanila dahil may speaker naman yan o ipabasa sa kanila it will be very easy Gan ganyan po ang ginagamit ko ako I've been here for a long time and I'm not that fluent in Korean so yun po ang ginagamit ko again ako po mas ano po ako sa papago <laughs> as I said it's a Korean ano so medyo mas accurate po ang pag translate ng English into uh, Korean and Korean into English sa opinion ko lang po so uh, some people might have a different opinion sa akin you know what I like here in Korea is that uh, hindi, ka ni, hindi nila ini-expect na magbigay ka ng uh, tip for the good service that has been rendered to you. Hindi po ganun dito. So, uh, hindi po ino-obligate ang tao na magbigay ng tip especially sa restaurants or sa taxis or any other establishments. So, ang, ang advice ko na lang po, wag na lang po magbigay kasi minsan it creates confusion or embarrassment sa part ng nagre-render ng service sa inyo. Another thing is, dito sa Korea, pag kumain ka po sa restaurants, nilalagay na po nila yung ano, yung order mo at saka yung order slips. So, pagkatapos mo pong kumain, dadalhin mo po yon yung lagay na yung sinusulatan nila kung anong order mo nandoon na rin po yung amount kung magkano yung babayaran ninyo so dadalhin mo po yan sa counter at doon po kayo magbayad so mabilis po ang service hindi po katulad sa iba na sasabi mo waiter yung gaganyan ganyan ka pa so dito po uh, generally pa after kumain ka sa isang restaurants ikaw na po yung magdala ng bill mo at doon ka po magbayad. So, payment would be in card, in cash, anything you like. There are certain social etiquettes na kinakailangan po i-observe dito when you are here in Korea. Uh, like, for example, if you are riding in a bus, if you are eating in, in a restaurant, or you are in a subway, or in a train. So, kinakailangan po na wag po masyado magsalita ng malakas. So, make it a little bit softer and kasi po sa, kung makikita po ninyo, those people riding in a bus or people that are in a subway, uh, train, may mga headphone po sila kasi hindi, ang dami, hindi sila masyad at kung magkukwentuhan din po sila, uh, medyo naka-whisper po. So, that is something that I've noticed here. So, that is one social etiquette na dapat uh, nothing to observe when you are here in Korea. At the same time, there if you are riding in a train, there are certain seats that are intended for the elderly or for the disabled persons. So, uh, malapit po yan sa opening ng doors. So, kahit na walang taong umuupo, you are not advised to sit in those ano, in those uh, seats. And also, yung mga seats na pink ang kulay, and maybe in some other areas, iba ang kulay, uh, kinakailangan, that is intended for pregnant women. So, kahit na wala namang pregnant women at uh, ang daming tao, so you are not advised to sit on those. Kasi pag umupo ka po dyan, 
medyo tataas ang kilay ng iba. <laughs> Greet someone here in Korea is not by yung mag-hug or to give a smack kiss. Hindi po yan dito uh, popular, shall I say. So, usually, a greeting is done by bowing or by handshake kung mga business ang trip. Don't get offended if you will be asked your age sa first meeting pa lang po. Kasi dito sa Korea, gusto nilang malaman ang iyong edad para ma-address ka nila in a proper way. Dito, respect is really, really important. Pag matanda, kinakailangan mag-show respect ka sa action at pananalita. Marami pa po akong gustong i-share sa inyo, pero I know medyo mahaba na po ang video na ito. So, if there are certain topics na hindi ko po na-cover up, so mga certain tips na gusto ninyong malaman na hindi ko po nasabi ngayon sa video na ito, just write it down sa comment section below at gagawa po tayo ng part 2 nitong video na ito. Um, I would like to thank each one of you for joining me and if you like this kind of topics, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and may mga friends kayo na gustong pumunta ng Korea, you can also share my, <laughs> my video to them para malaman nila kung ano yung mga tips pagpunta dito sa Korea. So, I would like to say thank you so much for joining me and this is on it only saying bye bye and I'm wishing each and everyone happiness today and the next days ahead. Annyeong!